everyone, it's Len here. Welcome to my channel. As you can see, I'm really excited today because I just received the ladybugs in the mail. 1,500 ladybugs. For those of you who are new to my channel, I keep a lot of plants in the basement of my house and most of them are hydroponic. I've had aphids issue on and off for months now, but they were mostly under control because I would diligently check on my plants and spray them with neem oil and soapy water. It worked for a while until the past several weeks that I was so busy with other stuff that I did not check on my plants for two weeks. So I had a huge infestation of aphids. And when that happened, the best way to do is just toss out everything, clean your garden thoroughly, wait for two weeks and then restart again. That should take care of all the aphids and spider mites and whatnot. For me, I don't want to do that because it means I have to toss out over 100 plants. Especially I'm having strawberries growing. Um, it took them a long time to sprout and got to where they are right now. And I refuse to give up. At least without a fight. So I said, okay, let's just order some ladybugs to take care of the problem naturally. And if it does not work out at the end, I will just have to toss out everything. But at least give it a try, right? So today video, I'm going to unbox the ladybox with you and show you how it works. Let's go release the box together. So I ordered these ladybox from Amazon. The first time I ordered, UPS lost my package. Poor bugs. God knows where they are right now. I got my refund and order from a different vendor. This time they arrived within 3 days. I couldn't be happier. It's a good sign that some of them look alive. Um, we'll see about it when we open this package. I also ordered this bug hotel. I don't know how well it works, but at least there's some place for them to hide. I wet a piece of paper towel with water to provide them water source. I also put in some lettuce leaves so that they have some place to hide or to get cozy. They are the gardener's best friend so I want them to feel really comfortable in the new environment. I'm going to set up the headquarter here in this pink tent. Let's call it the pink headquarter. Um, I don't want to release them all at once because this is my first time dealing with ladybugs and I don't know what to expect. I also soak in some raisin so it get um, plum up later for them to eat. I'm going to close this tent later so they don't escape all at once. I'm really nervous right now because this is the first time I deal with so many bugs. Oh my gosh. I'm screaming inside of my head right now. Oh my gosh! Ugh! 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 I know that they don't bite, but looking at this still make me have a funny feeling like they're crawling all over my skin. I'm just gonna leave them in this box right here and let them find their ways out. I'm going to use a brush to transfer them into this jar so that I can drop them off onto my plants. And then they get to work immediately. This fella right here found a jackpot. So many aphids under the leaf. Looks like he's having a feast. Do you see that aphid inside his mouth? Ah, oh, looks so satisfying. The ladybug slowly gets outside of the tent. I made them a bridge so that they can cross between the tent and the plant. I don't recommend you to release over a thousand ladybugs inside of your house. I do it because um, 
my basement is separated from the rest of the house upstairs and the door is pretty well insulated. If I were to have my plants inside my living room, I wouldn't do this because I don't want to wake up with a ladybug inside my mouth. It's just me. Um, some people keep one or two as a pet around the house and it's absolutely fine but not over a thousand bucks. For those of you that plant chamomile, you know that it attracts a fair share of aphids. For some reason, the aphids love chamomile. They also like bok choy, pepper, and eggplants. I've never thought that I would enjoy seeing ladybugs eating this much in my life. It is so satisfying, guys. I'm going to order a uh, better camera lens so that I can capture these epic moments better to show you guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I do. Please give me a thumbs up because it really means a lot to me. And also subscribe to my channel for future videos. I will surely update you guys on the ladybugs and the aphids. And let's see who wins. Thanks again and I will see you next time. Bye!